I've tried to make this video like five times now. Um, this is kind of weird for me because I'm I'm not used to not being able to get my thoughts out in a coherent manner. So uh, for me to be remaking the same video five times, yeah, I was I was struggling to get my thoughts out on this. Um, but basically, hey guys, Rexy96 here. Come at you with one of these talking head story timey type of videos, whatever you want to call them. Um, the viewpoint videos, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyways, so today's topic, as you can see from the sort of clickbaity title, um, going back to basics or back to my roots or whatever it is. I don't know what I've called this video at this point. Um, editing Greg will figure out what the title of this video is. I'm recording Greg, obviously. So I don't know the title of the video. It's going to be something like that. I've locked editing Greg into it now. But basically, um, today's video is about me and my channel. And I'm sorry for the squeaky chair. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, I'm going back to basics on the channel. And by back to basics, I mean all the way back to basics. Um, I've been trying and pushing really hard over the past month and a half, two months, to add new type of content to the channel. I've tried to add tech reviews and programming and Arduino tutorials to the channel. I've been pushing really hard to do it, and I've finally just come to the conclusion that it's not going to happen um, because of several reasons. And that's kind of what this video is about. Um, like what the channel is about for me at this point, what I'm doing with it, that type of thing. So at this point, what the channel is about for me, what I plan on doing with it is I enjoy playing video games with my good friends, having fun, posting the videos. I do. I do enjoy it. That's why I started in the first place. I never started to make money. I never started to be successful. I started to make videos with friends and have fun. That hasn't changed. I'm still doing the videos with friends and having fun, as you're well aware. Um, but what I have tried to change is over the years, I've been trying to push and push and make this a, I guess you could say I've been kind of going at it like a business frame of mind and I've been trying things and trying to do things to make the channel more successful and potentially profitable or not so much profitable, at least at a point where I was no longer burning money on the channel. It was paying for itself. That was really my goal. Um, the goal I have not hit. And I actually think it's because of my attempts to branch out and do things other than that. So let's do a quick recap of the attempted branch outs and failures of this channel. Uh, satire videos, satire news videos. Um, back then, I did not have the time to write scripts for them. I made one or two of them. And one of them got view botted and isn't even available on my channel anymore. Uh, that was a massive failure. Didn't have the time to put into it. Uh, second thing, tech reviews, product reviews. I did one of them. That's going to be a trend you notice. Um, it didn't do well at all in the beginning. It didn't start doing well till later on in its life. And I say well, it's at like maybe 300 views over the course of like three years since I posted it. It was back when I was in the office out behind that door over there. <laughs> It was back when I was out there, if that gives you any indicator of how long it's been. I didn't realize I've been in this room as my office for like uh, two years now at this point. It's been a while. But yeah, so um, that video was basically a flat out failure. And the problem with new videos is I'm at a point where I'm not buying new things anymore. I just don't have a need for new things in my life. I have what I need. I'm happy with what I have. I'm not buying things at the rate I used to buy things. My bank account thanks me for it. But yeah, so I'm not buying new interesting things to make cool, interesting videos about. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, project videos. I attempted to do project videos along the way at some point. Did I ever actually end up posting one? I don't know if I ever actually posted one. I posted the introduction. I posted the introduction. I had this idea for a series called Dirty Tech. Um, technology project show where you weren't afraid to get your hands dirty. I went full all the way with that and wrote out and planned all the episodes for the first season, shot quite a few of them, 
and never got around to editing or finishing edits and posting them because I was not happy with the way they came out because the biggest problem I had with the project videos back then and this is even back then when I had time to do it because I was at that point only working one part-time job because I was taking time to focus on other things in life um, I couldn't find a proper way to do justice to the project in a format that people would want to watch is really what it is. I couldn't find a way to be entertaining and still go in depth on a project in the way that people would want to watch and be interested in watching. So those videos never even saw the light of day. I'm pretty sure I don't even have the footage because I made those back before I had a proper footage archival system. <laughs> so those videos are gone. That was a failure. Um, and that's, that's the thing. Like I do have like two tech videos, like tech project videos shot and it's just getting the density of information that I would like in there while still being entertaining so people would want to watch them. That's the problem. And then lastly, the other expansion I tried doing because I believe this is... I believed it was the way to go until I watched a big channel attempt to do it and failed exactly the same way. Um, and that was Arduino videos. Um, for those of you who do... Uh, bleh. For those of you that do not know what that is, the Arduino is a basically a hobbyist platform. It's an embedded microsystem um, for hobbyists, electronics nerds, geeks, robotics, that type of thing. Which, as some of you may know, I'm super into robotics. It's my thing. It's my passion. Um, but basically, the idea was I was going to do videos getting started on the electronic side and the programming side of that. It's programmed in C language. And for those of you that do not know, C is a goddamn hard language to program in if you're just getting started. It just is. Um, so the problem I had was getting the depth of information into videos and presenting it in such a way that people who were new could actually get value out of it and learn to do it. Again, comes down to the same problem of with the information packed videos. I couldn't find a way to keep them short so that people would actually watch them, keep them entertaining so that people would actually watch them, and actually put the proper amount of information into the videos. Um, I've watched two big channels, uh, Barnacle's Nerdgasm, he tried his Codegasm series that I haven't seen anything on in a very long time um, because it's just, it's a lot of work to put all of that together. It just is. And the other one is Eli the computer guy who actually just did a video maybe two days ago talking about why he's done with those Arduino videos and that's because they're freaking hard work you know I've been working a lot lately and realistically when I come home if I'm playing around on one of my personal projects I don't want a camera in my face and the other thing too is just realistically speaking a lot of my projects I'm working on right now I can't work with them with a camera in my face for one of two reasons. One, it either slows me down so much that I'm not able to get done the amount of work I need to get done and the amount of free time I have. Or two, I actually can't show them because I'm collaborating with other, other people working under NDA. So I can't create a video showing them off. You know, it's that type of thing. So project videos are out. When I'm just playing around with a new technology, I kind of just want to be able to experiment and mess around. And because I'm learning it myself, I can't, I, I can't teach something to other people when I'm actively learning it myself. You know what I mean? You know, when I'm just starting with it, it's impossible for me to already consume the information and be able to regurgitate it in a way to actually have people gaining benefit out of it so i can't i can't do videos about new topics to me it just doesn't work uh so that comes back to uh let's see what's another failed type of video um actually i would call this video a success messing with the microsoft scammer that was just fun to make again way too much time for one video oh my god that was like a two and a half hour ordeal of just dealing with the guy um about two and a half hours of footage that I then had to edit down and do something that was entertaining and people would actually watch. And that is tough as shit. 
So that video took like six or seven, maybe even eight hours of work. That's a whole freaking work day I put into that one video. And since this is not my job, I can't do that shit. You know? Um, what's next? The fishing videos. That one is actually very much a success. And I have more footage that I just gotta edit together and do my cuts from this year. But that, that type of stuff will exist the once yearly basically type of thing. Because I'm only getting that type of footage once yearly. So that will still exist on the channel. Um... So that brings me back to what type of videos will still be on the channel. What type of videos will I still be making? Um, because obviously this is not my job. It's fun. This channel was about me having fun playing games with friends. It's still going to be about me having fun playing games with friends. So you're still going to see the, like, the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge and the work in progress and just random gaming let's play type of things. Um... I do believe what you will see from me, though, is instead of, like, I was doing the CSGO highlights for a while, um, instead of, like, the highlight type of videos, I think you will primarily see long-form content from me, um, just because it's, one, I like it more, I'm not a big fan of the highlight type stuff, I'm a big fan of more of, like, the overarching long-form type of gaming content like old YouTube, where you get like a complete playthrough, it's more fun for me, so I will be making that type of content, it creates a bigger story, it allows you actual time to create some sort of a story basically, in that I can talk and have an entire story arc of me talking go through one episode, and it's not going to just keep getting jumped and cut it up, um, you know, and train of thought gone again, it's... 10.30 at night. I've been up since like 4 today. Wow, that camera battery is not last long. It's already on red, too. So I'll try to be quick here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going back to my roots. Gaming videos, and I will still do these type of talking head videos. Um, because I have actually legitimately gotten requests for these type of videos where I'm talking about, you know, different topics and my ideologies. Like, I have a very interesting outlook on the world for a 20-year-old, and it's not the outlook of your typical 20-year-old, I don't think. Um, I tend to approach things from a much as if I've been around a lot longer than I am, and that's kind of because I've been in a working type environment since before, you know, everyone gets their first job at 16 at a grocery store. Like, I've been, when I, most people were working in a grocery store, I, at that age, was working in a research development lab with engineers. It, my mind just works differently than a lot of people's. Good or bad depends on the day, but yeah, so... These type of videos, like story time type of thing, and the gaming videos. That's what's going to be around on my channel. I'm done experimenting. You know, the experimenting has brought in subscribers, obviously. I have something like 540 subscribers now, but I'm pulling 10 to 20 views on a video. Clearly, the experiments pull in subscribers that don't stick around because I am not able to create quality content other than maybe the first experiment, and I don't even consider a lot of that quality content. So all it's done has, all the experimenting has done has artificially grown the channel to a point that now it's just, it's, it's not doing anything, you know? I realistically probably have about 50 real subs that stick around and do stuff on the channel, and 500 or so that came in from experiments and aren't still around. So, basically, again, you know, sorry if that didn't really make a whole lot of sense, because at this point, this is the sixth attempt at making this video, and that's as good as we're going to get. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of my feelings on that. Um, don't worry, the site's going to still exist. I'm not going anywhere, you know. And I'm still sticking around on YouTube, it's just I'm going back to the basics. I'm going back to doing the videos that people actually care about. Not trying all these other experimental things that take a whole hell of a lot of time. Um, and resources to make. Because I'm at a point where, with everything in my life, 
I am very happy right now. Finally, I am very happy with what's going on in my life. Um, and realistically, I just, I just kind of want to keep riding that wave for now. I don't want to shake a whole lot up too much right now, and you know, I don't want to put, I don't want to put a whole lot of effort into something that's just, it's not gonna, in the end, be worth that effort. Because realistically, in the end, YouTube will probably not be worth the effort because it's, it's in an era where you can't just, you know, make it big as some kid in your room. You just, it's not 2007 anymore. Um, I'm well past where I would need to be to have had any chance of making it on the platform. So there's no point to me doing more than just having fun goofing around with friends. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have fun, goof around with friends, and just enjoy what I put up. And not be trying to put up videos for the sake of trying to be more successful or trying to please the algorithm. You know, it's just, it's not worth it for me, you know, it's just not. But anyways, um, yeah, I think that's about it for this one. I think I've rambled on for long enough. So if you listened all the way through, much appreciated. Um, and I do believe that I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. That was weird. Peace.